well. You've asked in your invitation to, to talk about how we in the business uh, want to be a leader in green business. Let me rephrase your question and say, try answer how EDF is taking the lead in sustainable business. And I would say we do so along three major uh, axes. First one is, in spite of all the pressures coming from the current crisis, we steer our investment in the long term in CO2-free generation. And of course, here, nuclear comes first as we have moved to take and participate as an active investor and operator in the nuclear renaissance across the world. The key issue here, of course, is acceptability. Acceptability from all the stakeholders built on trust, trust built on transparency and accountability, and of course, demonstrated and proven safety. Trust and acceptability built on competitivity is nuclear affordable, is nuclear an alternative and a viable economic proposition, and of course, acceptably built on security of supply. The second item on our CO2 free generation agenda, and you mentioned that, is hydropower. And I think here we've set a new milestone and broke new ground on a very significant project in Laos, the Namton power, power generation hydropower dam, which I think sets a new standard in terms of moving hydropower from renewable to sustainable source of power with proven net environmental benefits to all the communities and also proven economic benefits to both the countries of Laos and, and Thailand. You've also mentioned through our EDF Energy Nouvelle uh, uh, actions in other forms of renewable energy, be they wind or solar, solar be they wind uh, on, the, on, on the ground, solar farms on the roof of our households, producing uh, power and, and heat for, for the home. The second front we're moving on is also of a long-term nature, and that's research and development. And here we're moving on many different directions. Just to, to name a few, one is an experiment with a, a new project in the north coast of Brittany to harness the power of ocean ocean currents and, uh, and ocean tides. We've also built uh, in deep geothermal uh, technology a new power plant in the eastern part of France. We've just brought to the, new, to the market a new high temperature heat pump for the homes and the, uh, uh, and the, in the industry. We're of course working on generation four nuclear, which we see as the future, a future with more sustainable fuel, uh, uh, fuel supplies and waste and, and waste treatment solutions. And we are about to start an experiment involving all the key stakeholders in this field with a fleet of 100 hybrid rechargeable electric vehicles in the city of Strasbourg this autumn, where we will be testing both the viability of the battery solutions, the network uh, loading points, the compatibility, of course, between the vehicle and the, uh, and the network loading points, and, of course, the economic viability of this whole uh, process. Third front and finishes, of course, innovation. You've mentioned innovation, and here we see two challenges. I think the first one strikes at the core of our business model. It's one where, if I was to make an analogy, I think we're about to experiment in the electricity utility industry, the same revolution that we saw in information and technology, moving from centralized to decentralized with the emergence of smart grids and consumers who will be as much consumers as we will be producers and active participants in the overall supply demand balance. That's the first one. And the second one is on financing. I think that's also at the core of making all our projects viable. It's de developing the, the, the appropriate private-public partnerships on key projects. I mean, we mentioned a few ones, but I could have talked about carbon capture and, and, and storage, which is, uh, which is a, a particularly uh, important one. But also clean development mechanism I think they need to be brought again to the, for, to, to the agenda as a vehicle for true technology transfer and financing of key projects in many different parts of the world. Thank you.